Hello Geometry students, this is Mr. Martin. Uh, in this video we're going to start talking about angles and special lines. Uh, again, we've got a lot of vocabulary and a lot of new terms that you're going to have to know in order for you to be successful. So make sure you keep up and make sure you get help when you need it. So um, this first part here, talking about widgets, we'll talk about this in class. Uh, but if you want to take a peek at that, feel free. And then this next part here, um, we're going to talk about uh, different angles, and hopefully three of these you know for sure. Um, the first one here we have an acute angle, so let's just draw an example of an acute angle. All right, and if I want to guarantee that we know it's an acute angle, I could just uh, put an angle measure in there. So let's just say it's uh, 40 degrees. All right, and then for our definition here, if an angle is acute, then it measures between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. All right, so I'm going to call this angle A. And notice it says between 0 and 90. So this does not include 0 and 90. So if we wanted to make an inequality statement, we could say 0 degrees is less than the measure of angle A, which is less than 90 degrees. All right, then moving on to a right angle. If we want to draw a right angle here, we have a special symbol to put into the vertex. If we put this little box in the corner, that's our tick mark to show that this is a right angle. We don't have to put 90 degrees in there. We just have to put that little box tick mark, which is reserved for showing we have a right angle. So our definition, if an angle is a right angle, then it measures 90 degrees. So for this one, it measures exactly 90 degrees. So we'll call this angle B, and we could say the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. All right, so if at this point you want to go ahead and give a try at uh, writing a definition for an obtuse angle, uh, when you come back, we'll go through it together. So go ahead and pause if you'd like to and see if you can uh, draw an example and write the definition. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so maybe you had something like this. We'll call that angle C. I could put in a measure here. Let's just call it 100 degrees. Just pick some arbitrary number. And hopefully your definition, if you decided to do it on your own, says something like if an angle is obtuse, then it measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Again, we're between 90 and 180. We can't equal 90 and we can't equal 180 if we wanted to make an inequality statement. We've got 90 degrees is less than the measure of angle C, which is less than 180 degrees. Again, notice we have less than here instead of less than or equal to, because, again, it can't be equal to 90 or 180. All right, so hopefully these three uh, you're familiar with. Next, we want to draw a straight angle, which you may or may not be familiar with. So I'm going to draw a straight line, and then I'm going to put three points on here. And I'm going to label these D, E, and F. And if you can notice that the measure that we're looking at here is this one, and maybe you already know or you can guess what the measure of that angle is going to be. So if an angle is a straight angle, then it measures 
180 degrees. So it's exactly 180 degrees. It looks a lot like a line because actually it is a line. Sometimes we'll want to refer to it as a line. Sometimes we'll want to refer to it as a straight angle. And we could say that the measure of angle D E F equals 180 degrees. Notice I used three letters to name this angle and I put the vertex, the middle point, in the middle when I named it. All right, so that's it for this video. Again, if you had any questions, uh, make sure you write those down so you can ask them the next time you see me or your teacher. And we will see you in the next video.